Welcome back. We are here on Etoro looking at the cryptocurrency market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, um, January 4, 2021. Happy New Year, everybody. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. And as you can see, Bitcoin is rallying even further. We're about 13,000. 13, I would not, I didn't expect that to happen, but uh, apparently everybody's just pumping money into this cryptocurrency. Um, yes, and we'll get into why that basically is. So if you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service and our online trades and courses. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin and then uh, then Ethereum. And uh, I may, may add like um, uh, two or three more cryptocurrencies as this is basically a market that is at very, very high interest of everybody at this current stage. So um, back in January 2020, there were roughly over 2000 types of cryptocurrencies. And that is, um, I should be a massive warning to everybody that's basically trying to put money into these things because there is no limitation of cryptocurrencies. That basically means that if you were to um, compare this to normal fiat currencies, that basically means that everybody could create their own currency. So this is still not a real currency, physical currency that you can use, buy and so on. You can, but it's limited. But the fact that you there's no limitation of how many cryptocurrencies there can be basically means that there's infinity number of cryptocurrencies. And that's why, with me as an economist, I basically say everything that basically has an infinity number basically is valueless. Uh, but people are believing in this and they are pumping money into this. And uh, I think that there's surely going to be a lot of people that are going to be get really burned uh, by these trades. As we are just speaking, we just um, increased another uh, $200, $300. And um, yes, I wouldn't be surprised by the end of a Sunday uh, Sunday night that we are basically at uh, 35000 I wouldn't be surprised at that. That only means that we are going to see a massive pullback. So I have been expecting a pullback roughly to 20000 uh, dollar range. That's where I expect uh, Bitcoin to go within the next few weeks. So if you look at technical indicators for this, this is the daily chart. So we're at 89 at this current stage. That is significantly our bot. The CCI is bullish, the stochastic is bullish, and the MACD is still bullish. If you look at the Bollinger Band for the uh, for the daily chart, we can see that we are starting to test the top of the Bollinger Band in the daily chart. That usually is a very bad sign. Last time we did that, we basically fell roughly 6-7%. The same goes for here, roughly 4%. And that is most likely what's going to happen yet again. But the real worry for Bitcoin is the weekly chart. You just see how out, much outside of the Bollinger Band we are in the weekly chart. So we have done this several times before in the past. We can see back in 2017, it basically fell 50% in one week when it basically broke uh, significantly outside of the Bollinger Band. And also when the RSI was at the same level as it is now, which is at uh, 93 um, in the RSI. It, that is massive boring signs going off, but still this is just continuing to grow and grow and grow. I think this is, uh, first of all, people are using this as um, as a safe haven compared to gold. Gold was the, was the commodity was expected to grow significantly and it basically has stalled. It will grow slowly, but people are, instead of putting money into gold, they are basically putting their money into Bitcoin. But then there are are the stories of uh, big companies, big institutions uh, thinking that gold is going to several um, hundred thousand. I've heard story about the 400,000 uh, at the end of 2021. 
And of course, those stories will just um, increase the um, demand for Bitcoin. And then there's just uh, what you call basically stupid money. People um, looking at things that it looks like it's just going to grow um, into heaven. And um, well, that never happens. It will have a pullback. And I still think that 20,000, which is the previous highs here, and if you look also at the Fibonacci retracements, that would make sense that we would see a pullback roughly 20,000. That is basically the first Fibonacci retracement. And uh, yes, that is where I think Bitcoin is going to go. Um, when? Well, it's really, really difficult to say at this point. I I would never, ever uh, believe that we would go this parabolical outside of the, of the Bollinger Band. But it has. And um, well... Yes, I would not, definitely not buy it here. I was shorting it, but um, that short did not work. Uh, but just a warning to everybody, this just cannot continue forever. And the pullback towards 20,000 is still uh, my best guess where this is going to go. I'm not going to say that this is going to collapse towards uh, the 200 moving average. That's not where I'm, uh, not what I'm saying. This will is still a very popular cryptocurrency but a pullback towards 20,000 and then continue this rally. That is what I think is going to happen in the next probably day or weeks. So let's look at the Ethereum. So we'll start by looking at the daily chart as well. And as you can see, we are not as over, um, overbought as we are in Bitcoin, but we're still overbought. So we are at 71 overbought. The other technical indicators are still bullish at this point. I do expect this to uh, pull back as well. And uh, I think Bitcoin will start pulling back and then, then it will have an effect on Ethereum as well. So... 70, uh, 700, for example, is uh, is a target of a pullback. And then also the 20 exponential moving average or the basically middle of the bullish band here. And that's also the previous highs here. So pullback towards the 667. That is most likely what is going to happen in Ethereum in the next few days. But we're not as, as overexposed as we are in Bitcoin. So it may um, take longer time before this uh, falls but in the weekly chart it is still significantly for example overexposed we're at 85 in the weekly chart we're not in 93 for example in like in bitcoin but this is also a massive warning sign we are way outside of the bullish band so pullbacks towards roughly uh, 650 so that is where we will see buyers come in or if this goes even further then, then probably roughly 500, which is the previous highs here, we'll see buyers come back in. So that is basically what I'm looking for in order to buy into this. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.